Hey, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Hey, um, I made some changes, y'all. Made some changes. I'm over here at a uh, USA Truck now. I'm doing a company driver thing until I can get a truck from uh, Till. I think it's a uh, transport enterprise leasing. The transport equipment leasing, one of those tail T E L leasing. Um, my 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 guy I talked to over there named Jody. Yeah, like Jody from uh, 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 Baby Boy. Yeah, so I'm over here. I left U.S. Express. And I left US Express because the first week I was there, first two weeks I was there, I was on the family dollar family dollar account. Now, the family dollar account, you do a lot of work. You do a whole bunch of work and you don't get paid what you should be getting paid. You know, um, there are guys who make it work for them and stuff, but it don't work for me. Um, after I left, after I left the uh, Family Dollar, I went OTR. But while I was in OTR, I had to call my fleet manager, driver manager, depending on who you're talking to. I had to call them every week, almost every other day, in order to be consistently loaded, to consistently move. Right, and um, I, I eventually got on the uh, automotive account that US US Express has. Now, on the automotive account, um, you get a percentage. On the OTR, it's a flat dollar a mile. Period. They don't get, they don't care what you're moving. It's a dollar a mile. Right. So, if you want to make three thousand dollars, you got to run three thousand miles, plus a fuel surcharge, and then they're gonna take your truck payment. And uh, your fuel out, that leave you with twelve, twelve hundred dollars or so. Um, and I didn't idle my truck like that. I didn't idle my truck. I stayed. Um, I stayed uh, at sixty-five mile now. I didn't go over sixty-five. And when I first started, and I was a family dollar, I run. I ran seventy mile an hour. Um, and then I, my first week I was OTR, I ran 70 mile an hour. After that, I ran 65 for the rest of the time I was with the company. Um, but like I said, I went from OTR back over to the automotive account. The automotive account, they give you 65%. And 65% don't care where to pay. If you pay $2, you get 65% of $2. If you pay $2,000, you get 65% of $2,000. Flat rate, 65% plus fuel surcharge. Or... This thing that they call breakthrough fuel. I never heard of that. Uh, breakthrough fuel is you'll find out what you'll get for fuel surcharge after the fact. I think that's uh, a way of. Uh, I think that's a way to, of them getting over on you. Not getting over on you too bad, but I think that's a way of them getting over on you. I don't know. Who knows? You know, I never heard of breakthrough fuel until. Um, until then. So, after I got over to the automotive account, I had to call them two or three times a week, you know, because I get a load. They say you pick up a load today, you got to deliver today. Okay, cool. I pick up a load and I'm wanting a load today I deliver. I still got, you know, four hours on my clock. Give me another load. I run, shut down, wake up, and finish it. You know, but they say they don't do it like that. They say they bid on the loads that day and you'll get a load that day when they bid on it. Okay, so if you're bidding on the load and I got to wait, I deliver, pick up do one load a week, I mean one load a day, I them load me to be paying good money. Otherwise, I keep me moving. Well, they didn't keep me moving. And uh, the first week I was on the automotive account, I left out the house on Friday, delivered on Saturday. I was already at home for a week. I left out the house on Friday, delivered on Saturday, 
And then I had to do a 34 reset because they didn't have no loads for me. So I sat in Alabama all of day Saturday, all of day Sunday, and then I left out on Monday to pick up a load. And when I left out on Monday to pick up a load, it took me up into Kentucky. Delivered the load in Kentucky, sat a whole day, and then I did another load. There's all OTR loads though. These are loads I could've did when I was OTR. But I'm on an automotive account, but they ain't have no automotive loads for me to do. So I'm stuck doing OTR loads. Um, After all that said and done, I finally got maybe three or four automotive loads done in the three weeks I was with them. I got maybe three or four automotive loads. Other than that, I was OTR. And I had to call them say, hey, I ain't made no money to even cover my truck payment, let alone cover anything else. I gotta cover my truck payment. I gotta cover my truck payment. Okay, after I cover my truck payment and my fuel, now I need to make some money for the house. I had to keep constantly call them, constantly call them, constantly call them. So um, I went home cause uh, we moved. So I went home and I finally called him. I said, hey, look, man, I need to turn my truck in, cause this ain't it. I can't be calling y'all. I have to call y'all every every week or every other day to, 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 to ask for a load when you know I got a load. You, you know I got to move. Um, but the straw that broke the camel back was not only me calling them every day to try and get me something to where I can, I'd be all right. But it was the fact that I had to go home for an appointment with the VA. They knew about it before I even came to the account. Cause I told them about it the day they, the day that they switched me over to the account, I told them about it. And I had already uh, requested it with my previous fleet manager. And so when I went over to that account, I requested it again with that fleet manager. Um, they didn't find nothing for me to go home and my la my last load, I emptied out in Louisville, Kentucky. I had a dead head from Louisville, Kentucky, all the way back to Jacksonville, Florida. I had just made it. I, had, I was maybe a hundred dollars, a hundred dollars ahead of the game. And they said they ain't got nothing. They said they ain't got nothing for um for me to get from Louisville, Kentucky to back to Jacksonville. So I did hit it from Louisville, Kentucky back to Jacksonville. And because I was a hundred dollars ahead of the game, that dead head put me three hundred dollars in the hole with the company. So at that point I'm like, you know what? I'm I'm good. Y'all, y'all can get y'all truck back. So in the process of me uh moving because i had to move houses also when um when all this was going on i had to move and i had the VA appointment so i did my VA appointment and now i'm moving and in the middle of me moving they called me and say hey you need to move your truck i said what do you mean i need to move my truck i said that ain't my truck it ain't my truck no more i turned it back in well you need to move it because if you don't move it we're going to tow it and then we're going to charge you for the for it being towed so at that point, I went and got the truck because I still had the keys to it. I went and got the truck and I drove it to my house, took all my stuff out of it. Uh, drove it to the house that morning, took all my stuff out of it. That night, I drove it back to US, US Express's yard terminal in Jacksonville. So when I do that, the trailer that I was hooked up to is still there. There was a driver coming to get it. So let me tell you what I did. I hooked back up to that trailer and then I took them the key. That's all I did. I just hooked back up to the trailer and took them the key. And um, got on the phone with USA Truck and said, hey, I need to be in orientation on Friday. They said, we can't put you in on Friday because it's too late in the week. We can put you in on Monday. I said, all right, cool. So, they uh got me the orientation they flew me to atlanta on friday i got 
I got in the truck that I was gonna look at uh, leasing. Got in the truck, inspected it, and everything. Now it looked good. It looked good, and it looked real good, you know. But uh, once I started driving it, then it's like, nah. So this was an outside company that does business with USA Truck. It wasn't no truck from USA. So. As all that said and done, I um I uh drove the truck over the weekend, spent spent the weekend in the truck, and then I called them on Monday. I said, "Look, I'm not leasing this truck. This truck is this truck is jacked up. No, I'm not going through that. I ain't even had them problems. No, not having it." So I told him, I said, "Hey, make me a company driver until I get my truck from Tail." Um, I said once I get my truck from Tail, I can become a um, a lease driver. I said so I do the company driver, and it was like, well, since you're going to do the company driver, you have enough experience, you can do the load board for company drivers. Meaning, I can pick my own loads, just like if I was on DAT, uh, truck stop, uh, 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 Coyote or JB three hundred and sixty, any load board, but. USA Truck has a specific load board for the company drivers. They also have a load board for the lease guys to where you can pick your own loads. So I'm over here as a company driver picking my own loads. They my sorry for the camera shaking, man. I'm getting loaded. Um so I'm picking my own loads and everything while I'm waiting on my truck to come. And when that truck comes, I'll be in that truck for four years. I'll be over here at USA Truck, picking my own loads, going home when I want to go home, get on the road when I want to get on the road, go as far as I want to go, make as much as I can make based on the loads that I pick. It's all good. My truck payment don't come, it don't go to USA Truck, it go to Tail. The truck is owned by Tail. So when they, at the end of the day, if I want to take the truck and go do my own, run my own numbers on it, I can because all I need to do is meet the obligation that Tell said I need to meet, which is the deposit. I meet that deposit and I can put my own numbers on side of the truck and still run USA truck loads. Come on now, tell me, tell, tell me, tell me I ain't going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. But um, that's why I'm at. Um, after I get settled in this truck, I've been in the truck for tomorrow will be one week from the day I actually got the truck. Tomorrow will be a week. So once I get settled in the truck a little bit more and actually get it all cleaned up in here, because I got my, I just got my trash, I got my trash all over the place, man. It's not dirty, but it's not clean. You know what I'm saying? But once I get all that stuff all set and ready to go, you know, I'll um, hit y'all up and do a more in detail video of the load board. I'll give y'all a tour of my um, my company truck and everything like that. So, but other than that, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for uh, watching the video. Thank y'all for liking the video. Thank y'all for su subscribing to the uh, channel. And thank y'all for sharing the video. Without those things, YouTube won't show y'all the videos. It'd be less likely for y'all to see the videos, for them to pop up on your news feed or whatever you want to call it. So I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. And shout out to the one person who recognized me since I've been starting doing uh, YouTube, named Bill. He's a US Express driver. Hey, man, I appreciate you recognizing me and everything and uh maybe we'll get together sometime and you know hang out i ain't gonna say to have a few brews because i don't drink but we'll hang out you know what I'm saying go out to dinner to have a dab just go out to lunch or something you know what i'm saying so i appreciate y'all y'all have a good one god bless